All right, what's up, world? We got Jamal here. And uh, Jamal is uh, really into fashion. And actually, we're sitting in his, uh, his warehouse here that is at the Fig House. And um, he's got actually... Uh, the operation is is happening. It's happening. So Jamal, please tell us, tell the world what's what's going on and people, future people about Big House. Cool, cool. So my name is Jamal. Um, I'm a fashion designer, as you can see. Um, I moved out here to Los Angeles about a, two years ago. Wanted to pursue fashion. Um, I didn't really have friends and family out here, so. Um, Moving out here was a, was very difficult, and finding places and finding people to room and roommate with was very difficult. So, going on the website and finding uh, Bohemian, this place right here, was probably the best thing that happened to me because, first off, it was cheap. Second, um, it was reliable. It contacted me super fast. Um, it it felt like they wanted me to come and wanted me to be there. So that pushed me to strive to come out here even more. So he coming out here, um, brand new, fresh face, um, new to everything, to Los Angeles, even to the West Coast. Um, it was very difficult, first year, first couple of months actually, um, very difficult. But knowing who you are and knowing where you come from, you're just gonna make friends and make situations out of the best of it. So that's what happened to me once I got here to the, the lodge. Uh, it quickly um, became that. I started making friends, started um, putting myself in situations where um, made me more open to be, you know, vulnerable to meet people and uh, be in situations um, to strive to meet people because that's kind of what LA is about. It's just connections and, um, you know, connecting with people in your industry because um, coming out here, you will see that drastically. People will come to you and ask you, what do you do? Um, what type of industry are you in creatively, business-wise? Like, that's what people want to see out here. People want to engage, people want to connect, uh, and people will want to uh, see people become something. Um, you just got to put yourself out there. And that's what I kind of did the first couple of months I came out here. Um, and this lodge was like the per perfect example, perfect stepping stone for me to at least branch myself out there and meet people and dive in in certain situations or even, you know, do things on my own because uh, that's also a big platform and a big uh, step that people um, decide not decide not to do out here is to like do things on their own and not be afraid to, you know, just be you. Um, so yeah, that's what the Lodge helped me become stronger, uh, more dependable, independent, um, and just way more um, open to becoming uh, an artist. Um, because that's what artists are, just all about being an artist and being open to your art and others' arts, other people's arts. So um, one thing that I like about The Lodge is um, there's always someone here you can talk to um, about anything creatively, whatever. There's always someone here. There's literally always someone here. Um, you can kind of be as free as you want. Um, it's LA, but on top of that, like this house gave you that opportunity to just be who you are and um, become who you want to be. Um, also, um, just the freedom that this house provides. Um, even though there's a lot of people here, um, you still find that sense of freedom because the house is just that big. Um, you can find a spot and just um, meet yourself or be to the open with everybody else. So there's that when it comes to like the freedom and just 
being open and speaking to everybody and just you have that here. Uh, that's what I love. Um, cool. Thanks, thanks, Jamal, so much. Um, that was amazing. And what would you recommend for people, like where to uh, get groceries or um, or a good place to eat out? Um, like that's still all new to me, especially the eating part. But grocery wise, um, there's a market right up the street. Fresh fruits, fresh meats. Um, you have Trader Joe's. You have uh, Target. Less than a mile up the street. Um, so I would say that you like fresh foods and healthy foods. You got Trader Joe's and Target right there. Yes. And if you want something that's right up the street, you have the market right here. No, and no, no. before the uh, pandemic happened, you're working at a pretty cool hotel. I was, I was. Um, hotel Maybe. was pretty cool. Uh, what was one of like the most interesting events that occurred at the? Uh, uh, that I got to witness was um, uh, they weren't really celebrities, but um, they were, I would say, important people. Um, they hosted a party there, and that party was probably the most um, people I've seen at the hotel. Everyone was just dressed up to the tea. Music was just amazing. Uh, you had to have wristbands. So that whole experience was just like, that's what I came to LA for, was just to see, see that. So pretty much, uh, yeah, I haven't really, they didn't really have that many parties, that much parties, but that one, I would probably say, was probably the most epic one because everybody was just everywhere. Music was loud. Everyone's just having a good time, and you couldn't even get inside the hotel because people were just waiting to get in. So that was that was pretty epic. Cool. Yeah. Over there at the Mayfair. The Mayfair Hotel. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Well, appreciate it, and we're signing off. And please wish Jamal uh, the best of luck uh, in the name of your fashion company that's going to yes. be launching soon. Also, Jay, uh, you looking out for that? Um, it's going to be pretty epic. House of Jay. House of Jay. Okay. All right, guys. Signing off. Peace. Peace.